Welcome to the second best tentacle video you're going to see today. Our one and only objective today is to protect the most important tree in the world. And we're going to do that naturally by sacrificing other trees. Anywhere you see a hole, we can put a tree inside. And one lone guardian over here. With that, we can start the first wave. And this is the part where the humans come charging in to try and fight us. We get to slap them around with our tentacles and murder them. If we stand on the seats for long enough, it actually replenishes our tree stock. Now, these morons absolutely love my trees, so as soon as they see them, they go charging in towards them to try and kill them. Luckily for us, we get to tentacle them really, really badly at that point. Then at the end of the wave, the shop appears and allows us to buy different kinds of trees or additional tentacles. Unfortunately for us, we're not that good, so we didn't get enough to buy anything at all, so we're just going to plant a few of the trees we have and then start the next wave. It's just really fun to tentacle things. We'll find the biggest cluster of morons and go give them a tentacling. Wave 2 is obviously a little bit more problematic than Wave 1, but still nothing we need to worry about. They're pretty, uh, weak humans. They're breaking down the defenses up here, but a few little whips later, they'll be doomed. And I think the seeds can spawn where we kill them. There's some kind of prompt every once in a while on their corpse. I'm not really sure what it is. They took out some of my trees, but we are perfect. Now that we have some money for the shop, I'm going to buy an attack spear that's going to add a tentacle. And then the different kinds of trees actually boost different things. Like apple trees are there, they fire three bullets, but they also boost bullet damage. So in a perfect world, you want a variety of things. Well, when nothing good shows up, we're just going to take five half sphere trees and then we can plant those. I think the best strategy here is to plant some of our regular trees because the Yudis tend to congregate to those and then we'll plant the dangerous trees beside them. Then hopefully they won't take all the damage. And then hopefully I don't have to worry as much about the lower section. I can just worry about the upper section. But we're going to sit here in the center and see where the idiots are congregating first so we know where to put our attention. And let's be honest, our attention is very limited. Oh, look at that stabbing feature we got now. Look at that guy, he broke right through. But he got stabbed real hard. They definitely killed one of my blue trees quickly, so that's not super great. But now that we have the blue trees unlocked, we will be able to find the seed on the ground. So while they're destroying the trees that I don't love anyway, we can go ahead and pick up some of those things. Are the blue trees even shooting anything? There's one tree shooting at him. Okay, I don't like the blue trees. It's official. I do like apple trees. And boosting ash distance. I'm ash, so if I can boost my distance, that's actually really good. Then I can manually take care of the problem. Okay, now we're going to sprinkle some apple trees in here. I believe these boost fire rate for other trees. And then we're going to put some more defensive trees here. And then we're going to put in some more of the blue trees that I don't love, but we're just going to fill up the holes. And so far, our main tree has got zero damage. I'm hoping the southwest quadrant will be able to defend itself for a little bit. And then we can focus our attention again up here. I'm going to get greedy and go for some trees right away. We should have a lot of extra range, or I should be able to get away with some silly things for a second. We'll take more trees there. Whoops, didn't quite get that one. And we're going to start the stabbing. They immediately broke through the defenses here, probably because there are no defenses, but look at all those apples going out. Apple trees are going to be my friend. They're getting close to the tree, we're going to slap them away and devour them. Uh, yeah, we might just stack up a bunch of apple trees soon, because those things are destroying everyone. And look at all the seeds we get. Um, you know what, my main tree is probably fine by itself for a sec. This is worth the sacrifice. Uh-oh, that guy's going to get close. Stab him! Get your stabber going. Got him. My tree definitely took a little bit of damage, uh, but you know what? That's okay. I don't know what cylinder trees do, so we're going to buy some of those. It's nice to have options. Then we're going to add a few more uh, apple trees over here so we can fight back. We're going to put a few more defensive trees sort of around them to protect them. And then we'll go for uh, the blue trees. And then we'll put some cylinder trees over here as well. And hopefully these are uh, really, really useful. They were expensive, so they've got to be good for something. Then we're going to refresh the shop. A walking tentacle. I'm intrigued and I can't help myself. Maybe that boosts speed? I'm not sure. We've got $116 left over. We're going to go ahead and save that uh, because we're going to need to buy some better stuff after this round, I'm pretty sure. That extra range is definitely coming in handy for us. So look at the size of that guy. All right, the cylinder trees so far are mostly not doing anything. I don't know what their purpose is because I don't get an explanation of it. The trees to the southwest are doing their job though, like down to the bottom. I don't really have to worry about the enemies at all. It's only whether we have a giant gap in trees that we seem to run into a problem. Oh, these guys want to tango, do they? We'll go ahead and murder them all immediately. And then we're going to pick up the leftover seeds. Then we got to get to planting our perimeter back because we're uh, <laughs> we've got some gaps. I don't really like any of our options, so we're going to re-roll the shop, and we're hopefully going to get something a lot better. Attack bomb sounds fun, but I'm going to buy some half sphere trees, and then we're going to re-roll and buy what's called an attack bomb, as opposed to a defense bomb. Uh, these swirly trees I'm going to put sort of intermittently because I really, really don't know what they do, and uh, I was less than impressed with them so far. We're going to add some apple trees here, then we're going to add some of these trees, and then we're going to add some more defensive trees, and then we're going to go back to bullet shooting trees and whatever the swirly ones are. 
But now my left side and bottom is pretty well defended. It's just the right side has a small gap. Oh, those are long range shooters. Those actually fire from a long ways out. They don't hit anything at all, but they're shooting from a long ways out. All right, well, we better... Uh, oh, there's my bomb, too. I forgot about that already. Okay, we're going to get greedy and take these seeds right away because these guys are kind of slow. Wow, that bomb's actually a lot of fun. Gwen's going to throw giant bombs at the hordes of people. Don't touch my tree. That's my tree. Only I'm allowed to hurt trees. Uh, we also have some kind of man with a giant bomb on his back. Oh, we should probably take care of him before he gets close to anything at all. Look at all the seeds on the ground. Okay, they blew through my defenses over here somewhat. But that's sort of to be expected. Uh, okay, and my trees actually got the guy running, so that's good. I've got some long-range help for once. And I'm actually building up a pretty good amount of trees every round now. And there's actually still seeds on the ground, so that's great. Those are a lot of apple seeds. And so far, I think apples are my favorites. They seem to be doing the most consistent damage. So we're going to continue to spread those along there like that. That's a lot of damage. Then we'll go some more protective trees, and then we're going to just start filling out the gap with whatever else we got. And these will probably die, but we'll replace them with apples as soon as we can. Well, I'm at it. I'm going to have Gaia add long bullets. I'm pretty sure Gaia is our main tree, so it should be able to shoot by itself. Hopefully I'm understanding that correctly. Then we're going to get another five apple trees. Because this side over here needs some help. But we almost have a full ring ready. we got $35 in the bank. So we'll watch them come in. We'll also look out for Gaia, Gaia's long range bullet to see if uh, anything happens with that. Look at all the red bullets coming out. That's my apple trees at work. Yeah, we're absolutely decimating this wave so far. The idiots couldn't get right through the gap right away because they got distracted by the trees. This is perfect. Okay, this might be a good seed round for us. We can get a whole bunch of these if we're out here. Uh, I missed that one. That's okay. We're just going to hope the tree can fend for itself for a sec. We're going to collect seeds and get greedy. We did that wave perfect. Uh, we've done a few of those now, so we might be able to get bonuses for perfect if we make an investment. We can also boost Ash's speed, which we're going to do. We're collecting a lot of apple trees. Uh, maybe it works that the tree that kills them is the seed they drop. Uh, we can boost trees attack by 10%. Yes. Then it's going to be an apple tree life. We're going to add as many of these as we can. Then we're going to add maybe some of these other trees that do still shoot stuff. And because we filled in the first ring now, uh, we got our second ring unlocked. So outside of these apple trees over here, we're going to put some defensive trees. These are basically just a decoy. Uh, they'll hopefully get hit and not my beloved apple trees. And these twisty trees, this is not a good spot to put these, but I just want to lay them down anyway. Then there's just less I have to pay attention to this wave. So I'm feeling pretty confident about the right side. Mm, we'll keep an eye on the left side. Wow, look at how fast that guy is. Mm, this might be another round where we get a lot of seeds. We'll see. We got to get our bomb going too as much as we can. That bomb needs to go out all the time because it's really messing up a lot of idiots. And we'll collect a bunch of seeds out here. And we need to stay close to the corpses too because that's where we get a lot of our points. I'm just going to go ahead and assume the right side is fine given how many things are out there although people like this are spawning that seem to be able to hurt my trees from a long ways away wow they actually tore through here in a big way i don't know what did that but we'll replace it with even more trees look how many seeds i got from that we've got like 60 seeds to plant we're gonna finish off the second ring already so the inner ring for sure whoops is definitely going to be apple trees wherever we can that way they have some protection while they fire on the other idiots and then the rest of these since are just long range shooters anyway, we're just going to plant them around wherever we can. The more bullets we have going out, the better off we're going to be. If we just rapid fire, like we'll hit something eventually, they're all going to help in their own little way. We basically have the second ring done, just a little spot in the top. What are attack spikes and why are they 850? That's absurdly expensive. What we're going to do is boost our trees attack by another 10%. That's going to cost a lot of money, but the trees are way stronger now. Then I can't afford anything else. On to wave 9. Look at all those bullets going out. Everything's going to get absolutely destroyed. Okay, we're going to start to help by going around and collecting some seeds and souls and whatever. We're just a soul absorber at this point. We need to be out here to collect uh, points and also kill those guys with the laser bomb. I hear a lot of sounds. I'm thinking that's a good thing. That sounded like a negative sound to me. But we'll see. We can sacrifice a few trees. There's a lot of bombs firing at someone. Oh, they can't reach them. That's why. We got perfect regardless. So with our $580, we're going to add an attack slap. That's 15 oaks for $210. That seems like a good deal. Because aside from that, we can just straight up add some apple trees. And then we're in good shape again. Because we can add apple trees up top. And then pretty soon we'll be able to put our third layer in. So apple trees there. We're missing a tree somewhere. Okay, now we're on to the next layer, uh, our third layer. So we're going to put more apple trees down because they're just clearly working for me. Then we'll put down a whole bunch of oaks somewhere where we have a bit of a vulnerable spot. I think these blue trees are generally pretty vulnerable, though they haven't been taking any damage lately. But we're just going to go ahead and string the tough trees all the way around. I really like this because I really don't have to strategize at all. We're just going with raw firepower and that's going to bail me out of stupid choices. Now we got 15 of the other tree to put. Our third layer is actually almost done as well. We're starting to jump ahead. 
Okay, on this wave, we got a tractor of doom coming in, but so far it's already eating lots of damage. We got our bomb and all of our attacks coming in. It's got 3000 HP, but it's getting tentacled really, really hard. It lost a whole bunch of HP. Okay, it's coming back. Uh, we'll just let everyone else deal with the, the firepower they're all under. Okay, our trees by themselves are enough to fend off the boss. So we'll let the boss do that while we collect some seeds and souls. Uh, yeah, the boss is absolutely getting wrecked, except for this little guy. We don't really have a good defense tree-wise against these guys. Luckily, I can drop an enormous bomb on their head and they die, and the bulldog copter is almost dead. Oh, we got so many seeds. We got that perfect, and that was a boss wave. And for that, we got almost $1,700 to spend. So we can get these very expensive attack spikes, 950. Those have got to be good. We can also get pines, which is a new type of tree altogether that also fire. I'm also going to buy a walking tentacle, pretty sure that makes us faster, then we're going to refresh because we got lots of money left over still. So we'll boost Ash's speed so we're quicker again and we still got money. Uh, we're going to buy an attack hammer. Then our pines are going to go here, they do quite a bit of damage. Then we're going to add some more apple trees because this is soon to be a defensive or an inside layer, we'll put a defensive layer outside of them. So defensive trees around to the right side to protect our new pines and everything so they're nice and safe, we'll pretend like we care about them. And then there's more shooty trees around the outside, so there's now four layers of shooting things around three quarters of my circle. So enemies are really, really gonna have trouble getting close. Okay, I know what the spikes do now. They reach forever. Uh, that's gonna be hugely valuable against boss and long range enemies. Look at these guys, they have miniguns or something. Turns out they're vulnerable to enormous spikes though. Now we'll go collect the corpses on our perimeters. So I'll pick up as many seeds as we can. Look at all those apple trees shooting away. We destroyed that wave. We got perfect and it took like four seconds. We can also boost apple tree fire rate by 10%, so we're going to take that. Speaking of apple trees, you can just never have too much of these dangerous little creatures. We're going to put these down and just all the rest of the trees in a big circle. Yeah, I've got more trees planted down. We're going to reroll because there was nothing there super fun. Uh, we can boost apple tree damage by 10% again if we want. Yeah, apple trees are going up in damage and then we're going to boost tree resistance 10% as well, so they're tougher. Now we just gotta decide what direction we want to start in. Mm, the enemies are definitely getting wrecked. We are getting some new types of enemies for sure, so I'm sure we'll get into some new more dangerous things. For now, I'm just gonna make a big circle gathering whatever I can. I think the new apple tree damage is really doing a lot too. Plus the fire rate, that probably doesn't hurt either. We got another perfect round. I assume we didn't lose any trees or didn't get hit on our main tree. Mm, then we're filling more holes. Ring 5 is actually getting close to done as well. There are so many trees. Okay, we're going to boost uh, our character's speed twice, so we're going to be zooming around like a rocket tentacle. We're also going to boost pine fire rate 10%. While we're at it, let's uh, have attack slap as well. Look at all those tentacles we got now. So we seem to have a good mixture of trees somehow. It was not intentional, it's just the way it kind of worked out. And with all my speed and stuff, I feel pretty confident to be able to walk way out here and just do a giant circle and destroy everyone. Yeah, we could probably actually, yeah, that guy's already dead. I don't even know what killed him. Anyone who gets close to the walls just gets absolutely wrecked by apple trees, and that is very satisfying to me. I planted all the trees on layer 6, our northeast side is well protected. There's something called Attack Roar for 770, we're gonna buy that because it's very expensive so it's gotta be good. Boost attack damage 10% and there's some seeds actually sitting on the ground for some reason. And then we're ready to go again. I think at this point unless the enemies get a lot stronger, we're going to absolutely wreck them. We have a roar that's like an AoE apparently so that just goes around. Um, yeah, no one can survive the onslaught of bullets. I like how we're making over a thousand dollars every round very consistently now. You know what, let's add an attack slap while we're at it. And then we'll boost our speed. Let's reroll the shop, hoping for something nice. We can get 10 seeds on perfect. Yeah, that's pretty good because we get perfect a lot these days. We're going to boost my attack distance. All of which obviously are very important upgrades. Oh, we got a big guy with a sword. Let's 1v1 him. I think he's dead. Mm, I think most people are already dead. They don't really last very long. There's so many bullets and trees they've got to get through. Like I'd like to see the army that could actually manage that. And we got perfect, so we got some seeds. It's giving us the option now to straight up buy 50 trees. I'm gonna buy 50 trees. I'm actually getting annoyed with the amount of time it's taking to plant the trees at this point. Uh, another ring complete. We're on to yet another layer of massive massive defense and damage output. And the game broke. I think we fired too many bullets and it straight up crashed. But I think that's a sign we were truly so far ahead that we made our point. We absolutely obliterated everything.